And then the third question that's coupled to it, can I take a system to lower temperature with adding heat? Yes. Okay. That's one way. So if you add mass. So now I go, how do you take a system to lower temperature with adding heat? So how do we do this? Quick answer is yes. It can be done. Simple answer. by the system doing work. Or by this by adding mass or removing mass. So or I should put removing mass. Well, I guess I could add cold mass by mass transfer. So let's go back to the first law. First law. In first law I have heat in plus work in plus energy associated with mass in minus heat out plus workout, plus the energy associated with mass out, equals the change in internal energy in my system. And so this internal energy in my system, I can relate that to the heat capacity and the change in temperature. So if you remember sensible heat or sensible energy. So sensible energy had to deal with um, the internal part so I can I have this and I can write that as the mass of my system times its heat capacity times its change in temperature so I could say T2 minus T1 and we're taking a system to lower temperature so we're saying T2 is less than T1 and our, so we're decreasing the temperature of our system and I'm expressing my change in internal energy in terms of the change in temperature of my system. So I have to do something like this and we how to take a system lower temperature with adding heat. So we can just say we're not removing heat. And let's just for the sake of convenience let's say that we're not exchanging mass but one of your fellow classmates explained that you could do mass transfer to, to accomplish this task. But let's just simplify it and let's say that there's, we have a system where there, it's a closed system, so all that can happen is heat and work between the surroundings. So then I do this and I have Q in, I'm adding heat plus work in minus work out equals M. CP T2 minus T1. Okay, this is less than that, so let's just. So this is less than that, so this ends up being negative. So let's just kind of do this minus MCP delta T. And then we're just putting a, the magnitude. So we're just, we're just going to say it's a change in temperature. And then the minus sign here just comes from that. So I'm adding heat, and so let's break this down into parts, which are positive and negative. So I have my positive part, my negative part, and here I have a negative part. And so the only way I can make these balance is my work out, my system has to do work. 
and the amount of work that is done. Yeah. So I get work out has to equal M C P magnitude of delta T minus Q N or plus Q N. Plus work in. So my workout has to be all of this. I just did some sign conversion stuff. So the total workout has to equal this change in temperature, decrease in temperature, plus the heat in, plus the work in. So simple answer is I can do this by doing work.